Hello everyone, so in previous videos we have seen how to create a lake house and how to upload a file. Now in this video we are going to explore about the table option, how to create a table. So what I will do, first I will upload a file because I have deleted the file. So what actually you have to do in a file option, right? Click on the upload, click on the upload files. And if you have to upload any files, what you have to do, search for the files. I am going to upload one files now. I am going to upload this employee CSV file. Click on the open and after that click on the upload. Once you click on the upload right you can see employee CSV file we have uploaded. If I double click you will be able to preview the file. Now what actually we are going to do we are going to create a table. How to create a table in employee CSV right you can see the three dot click on that you will see one option load to a tables. So if you want to load this into a table, what you have to do, click on the new table. Now after that, you have to give the table name. So suppose, let me give the name as a EMP. But you can give any of the table name which you want. Use header for a column names. And after that, the comma separated. It will take the first row as a header and this will be a comma separated. Click on the load. Now once you will click on the load, right, what will happen? One table will be created. This is very cool feature, right? Even though you are not writing any kind of the code, what actually is going to happen? It's going to create one table for you. You can see this employee table got created. If I click here and if I click on this route, right? I can see all the columns are available. Now, if you want to view this table, if you will double click here, uh, click on the table, click on the employee, click on the refresh. If you now you can see I can view the table also. Now if you will see, if I will come to this file option, if you will come to the file section, you can see my file is available and also one table got created. Behind the scene, what actually happened, let's try to understand. So you can see in the file section, right, we have a employee1.csv. What actually it has done, it has taken this file, it has copied into this table section and it has converted into a parquet format and it is created the delta table. Now how you will make sure this is a delta table and in the parquet format it has saved the file. If you click on this triple dot right click on the view files you will be able to see the files. So you can see this is a parquet file and also we have a delta log. So whenever we create a delta table right what actually happened two things will be created one is for the parquet file. So this is a parquet file this is a, your files. The second is the delta log. This actually got created for all the kind of the versioning, maintenance and all. For all the transaction logs and all. So you can see one delta table got created and you can see the file also. So this is what happened behind the scene. Means even though you haven't written any code, everything has done automatically. Whatever the file is there, right? On top of that, we have created a table. On top of that, we can write any kind of the SQL query and the, we can analyze it. One more thing I want to show you in the employee table, right? What kind of a table it is? So if you want to see that, click on this, click on the property. You can see this is a managed table. So there are two types of the table in a Spark, if you will see. One is a managed table, second is the unmanaged table. In the case of the managed table, right? What generally happens? If you will delete this particular table, right? If you will delete this table, what will happen? Your file also will be deleted. Your file will be also deleted. And the second table is unmanaged table. In the case of the unmanaged, what happens? Even though if you will delete this table, right? Your file will remain same. So that that is a two type of table. As of now, it is a created a managed table. So what happens? It has taken the files from here it has copied into this section only in table section only it has copied and it has uh, converted in the parquet and it has saved now if you will delete this table right that particular files also will be deleted because it is a managed table we'll see how to create unmanaged table also but uh, this is the two thing you have to remember so i hope you got the idea how to create a table in a uh, microsoft fabric